friends. Why am I beating on the table? I don't know. Maybe it's the fairies making me do it. I don't know. All right, I'm being silly. So <laughs> today, uh, guys, we are about to make a fairy themed um, pocket letter. I am excited about this one. Um, when I saw the prompt over in the group, um, swap it, I was like, yes, the fairies. I love fairies. <laughs> I love books about fairies. I like shows about fairies. Like, if something has fairies in it, whether the fairies are good or bad, I'm watching it. <laughs> so, um, these are our images that we will be using. I hand stamped, colored, and fussy cut these out. These are the papers that we will be using. This is from a old recollection paper pad. These are from Pink Fresh Studios. I think it was, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a older, um, um, ink pad. I think maybe it was from either last year or the year before last. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought they went very, I thought these three papers went very well with the fairy theme because they're kind of, um, like they they have like a very um surreal effect, especially this one with the fading and the stars. I love this paper. This is like my favorite paper. And then I like this one. It also has like the birds and everything. We're we're gonna be using like the top part as our paper backdrop. And then I like this one too because it kind of reminded me of like the fairies at night. Like it's kind of moody and you know, it's really cool. So I like that. We'll also be stamping directly onto the paper in some areas because like this stamp set came with like little lamps and little, um, I don't know what do you call those things, but I'll be stamping those on to kind of give like a backdrop. May even stamp some of the stuff directly onto the acetate pieces. Not 100% sure now, but the first thing we have to do is cut out our um, our paper to fit the baseball card sleeve. So off to the side, I want to say this: I do have my fuse tool heating up because I am going to add shakers to the pockets because you can't have fairies without some fairy dust so each one of my fairies are going to have like fairy dust this is going to be the mixture it has shades of pink blues yellows everything in here but then i also have this one that um mostly sh um just pinks is hearts by recollection this one is by martha stewart it is called the blueberry slush this one we will be using is from Little Things um, by Little Things from Lucy Cards. So I'll be using this one. I purchased this from Simon. Did I purchase this? I think this was free. I think this might have been in one of those stamp sets or something. Um, I think so. I think that might have came with a stamp set, but we'll be using that. And then last but not least, we'll be using one that is mostly yellows and clears, and um, this came from the Simon Says stamp, stamp set. So I'm gonna have four shakers to, um, you know, in my pocket. I love including lots and lots of shakers. To me, I like being able to see through the paper and it adds so much fun to it. And then I like to, like in my other uh, five envelopes, then I can stuff those with little goodies. All right, so let's get started with cutting down the paper. I've used this paper in a bunch of projects. I ordered a bunch of it because I think it's so pretty. I used this paper in the, um, it was a stamp set I did. It was a pop-up stamp with um, the critters from the Arctic. And I think it was, um, I can't remember the exact name, but I have a video for it and I will link it. <music> So now that we have all our papers put out, I'm just going to lay them where I want them to go. This is pretty much the look that I'm going for. I want light at the top and then I want it to get more moody down towards the bottom. 
but I'm going to add fairies throughout this whole thing. Um, this is representing like the sky part and you know we have birds up there and then we're gonna have like more of the livable space like down here and I would have painted that purple <laughs> but it's okay <laughs> we're gonna make it work so I'm just going through kind of like doing a dry layout to see how I want the pieces to kind of fall out this is never like the actual order they end up in I always come back and change things around but I just work better when I kind of play with the pieces and see where things might go before like just gluing stuff down and then if I see um, like a little design come up that I like then I start taping everything down okay so let's work let's work from the bottom up this time let's see how that works out for us so I'm gonna push those little pieces to the side so for this, I'm going to use this sparkly washi tape. It's never been used before. <laughs> but I think it's really cute for this, um, <clears throat> for this particular project. Just because it's like, I don't know, it's very pretty and sparkly and it has like a, it has a fairy feel to it. Like if that makes sense. Like I don't really know if fairies, like if there's such thing as a fairy feel, but. To me, it has a fairy feel to it. <laughs> it's so funny because when I've been making my videos, um, you know, like my husband, he'll be in the other room and hear him me like talking. And he's like, it's like you're having a full conversation with somebody in there. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I am talking to my crafty friends. <laughs> I think it's funny. It's probably make me seem more like a dork though <laughs> in his eyes. <laughs> and I feel like when I'm talking and crafting real time, I feel like you guys get to know me a little bit better. Like more of my personality comes out. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, <laughs> I don't know, I always like to when I'm watching um, like videos, I like to get to know the person. Like, And so whenever I'm doing my pocket letters, all I do is just kind of play around with my pieces until I found a layout that I like. With this one, I am stamping directly to the paper using some VersaFine black ink. And um, I did that because I wanted it to seem like a background and a foreground. Um, I think when you're doing pocket letters, um, it kind of helps out if you like look at all your different layers and, um, you know, work from there, like have stuff inside the pocket, um, have like cut apart pieces on the page and then like having stuff on the actual page protector, it'll give your project a lot of depth. So that's what I did. Um, Unfortunately, this was one of those projects that I lost a lot of the data for. So, um, not everything is going to be in here, but it's actually, um, it actually does show like how I did most of it. And you can see right there, I'm being bad. I am using my Copic markers with uh, Versa Fine Ink, and that's a big no-no. So I did swap out to um, start using those um, distress pencils just to give that lamp a little bit of glow. I thought about what I was doing and I was like, nope, don't want to destroy my pens. <laughs> so um, I stamp out a lot on this layout and I hope you guys will enjoy it because it was a lot of fun to make and yeah, I um I really wanted to share it with you guys even though I couldn't share like the entire layout um, just because I did lose a lot of data <laughs> just right in the middle too right where you don't want to you know have it cut out but 
for the top parts you will you saw how I was laying it out in the beginning so it gave you an idea of what um, what I was doing with this layout and then I this pretty much goes into detail on what I do with that bottom part and I have all the footage from decorating the back so I hope you guys like this layout and I will see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna let some music play and let you just enjoy the process and yeah I'll stop talking now <laughs>